you're a tax preparer. There's 300 million Americans that are required to file taxes. The only question is with who? See, there's 3% of tax preparers who are making more than the 97% combined. Why? Because they know something or they're doing something that the people that are not making enough money are doing. It's simple. Me, and my partner, and our team have worked with tax preparers for the past five years. We have worked with successful tax preparers, we have helped tax preparers to go to the next level, build courses, build high tickets products and a lot more. Here's the problem. A lot of tax preparers just dabble. I talk to hundreds of tax preparers who the first question I usually ask my questions is, how does your marketing strategy look like? And the shocking answer is all, almost 98% doesn't have a strategy. They wait for tax season to happen. When tax season happens, they start dabbling. Right? I need a logo, I need Fiverr, I need a funnel here, I need the, this. But what they don't do is strategize. Here's the five fundamentals that will help you skyrocket and change the way you do business forever. You can implement it in any kind of business you have, okay? It's not about just marketing. It's not about just posting pretty posts on social media. It's not about just, you know, going after clients and chasing clients, asking for business without building any value or anything in advance. It's not about that. It's about having a lot of things together. It's like a... a Think of business as like a, a vehicle that needs the brakes, that needs the, that needs a lot of parts in order for it to function. Otherwise, it wouldn't roll. It wouldn't even start. Number one is strategy, right? What does strategy give you? It gives you clarity. And we got to do a quick exercise together because I believe this is going to open your mind so much more and it's going to show you the opportunity how easier it is if you're clear and know exactly what you're doing. You can't build a house without a blueprint. You can't build a, a, a house without a plan. You need an infrastructure. Before you go to the marketplace, before you start doing these ads, before you start bringing people in or doing any activity that gets your people in, you need to work on your credibility. You need to be very clear about who you are as a business. What do you do? Why you do it? Why should people buy from you? What is the offer in place that gets them to buy or file with you right away? And a lot more. Here's a quick exercise I want you to go over really quick, so just so you can gain some perspective. So a lot of people that don't want to make six figures, I want to make seven figures. Let's say, for example, six figures, right? Uh, a lot of people are in five figures, they want to scale to six figures. If you're in six figures, you want to scale to seven figures, apply the same strategy. It's all about numbers. And once you know exactly what you're going after and you know exactly the number you're going after and how long it takes you, it's easy to go and execute in the marketplace. You're not gonna be just winging it. Guys, if you don't have a plan, you're gonna be part of someone else's plan. And it's not gonna be very, very pretty. You gotta have a plan in order to succeed in this marketplace. You can't just double here, graphics and all that. So let's do the exercise. Let's say you wanna make $100,000, okay? Let's say you have two kind of clients. You do Schedule C and then you, you do the individual. Let's say Schedule C, you know, you charge them about $800, $900 and you charge a person about from $250 to like $350, right? So the average, let's say your average is $500, right? So $500, how many do you need a day in order to reach that 100 k right? And a lot of people don't know this information. It's important to start with the outcome and reverse engineer. That's why we got to put these things in points. You only need two a day in order to make $120,000. Let me repeat that. You need two a day to make $120,000. And if you do it times two, if you do four a day, you make $240,000. If you do six a day, $360,000. You see where I'm going with this. So once you're super clear, you start with the outcome. Instead of, oh, how am I going to make this $100,000? It sounds so impossible and far. I just need two a day. So how can we get to a day? Now your brain starts getting to work. Okay, so you gotta have a good approach. You gotta have people to trust you. You gotta have a good system. If you have a funnel, if you give them something free in return, something. Now the strategy is a result of your clarity and knowing, you know, what does it take you to get there. So you reverse engineer. Start with the outcome. 120,000, perfect. So if I have a message, I have a free ebook, I give it away. Now you're productive. You have productive thinking. You're not thinking outside and you're following these viewers online, oh, post pretty pictures and they're gonna make you money, post real and you're gonna be famous and you're gonna make money. But everybody, a lot of people have opinions in the marketplace and if you keep buying these products or just following whoever comes to the trend, you do not do justice to your foundation. This is your business. You get to decide what comes in based on what you value most and based what you're going after, okay? 
So let's go back to our math. Two a day. You only need two a day to make 120,000. That's why being clear and having a strategy is super important because the strategy and the clarity allows you to know what you're going to do, have a game plan. Because if you don't have a game plan, tax season will start and you're just going to be like dabbling, trying to get clients here, flyers and all that. And at the end, you're going to be like, huh, I didn't make money. Every second, every minute, every hour matters and counts during tax season. You only have four months to make as much money as you can so you can invest in your passive income throughout the rest of the year. And the only way to do that is to stay focused and have a plan. Have a plan this year, guys. If you're looking for the breakthrough, if you're, if you're the tax preparer who's been working for years and years and been providing value to their clients, have been putting their heart and soul to the industry, right? And you go again to the marketplace and you have the power to change someone's life, to change someone's finances, helping a lot of people out there more than the person who's doing it for them already. But you never took time to, you took time to over deliver, which is incredible, but you never took time to strategize. Who am I? What am I going after? You know, like what's my unique selling proposition? You know, why do I do, what's my culture? What's my mission? What, why do I do what I do? It's so important to be clear about these things because once you are, you're armed with a plan, okay? So strategize, guys. Strategy is super important. And if you stay till the end of the video, I included a free workbook strategy that's going to help you skyrocket. I'm talking about a framework that's going to give you some perspective so you sit down and know what kind of thing. A lot of people skip this part. They build a business and they don't have a business plan. They don't have a marketing strategy. They don't have a content strategy. They skip th th this part and they, they try to, yes, you can make some quick money, but if you're looking for a long-term growth, sustainable growth, if you want to build the tallest building in the city, you need the biggest infrastructure you can get. You know, as tall as the building is, as deep as the infrastructure and the foundation of it is. So your foundation is so important. Before you go out there to the world and speak, find out who you are, who you're going after. If you have two options, a, uh, a, a real, if you want to buy a luxury high, uh, high rise, you know, uh, apartments, and you have two options, a high rise uh, luxury realtor and a regular realtor, which one are you going to choose? Of course, the, the experts. So find your niche, find your tribe, figure out a little bit more how you like to work, what do you like to help with the clients, shine a light on yourself and you'll be surprised what kind of information you'll find within you. And once you start innovating and creating, you don't go out there to the marketplace and let the market define who you are. When you sit down, take time yourself, plan, strategize, know exactly who you are, build your foundation, you decide who you want to be in the market and you go and be it. You embody it and you go with it and be it because you have every tool, every resource, and you figure out every way to go out there. Future pace the whole thing, you know? And here's another exercise I want you to do. Sit down, close your eyes, and go five years from now and be like, if my business worked and if I'm doing everything that makes me happy business-wise as an entrepreneur, if I'm doing it the right way, how is that going to look? Do I want more time? Do I want more energy? Don't no want more money. You know, once you're clear about your outcome, maybe you don't want to file taxes anymore. <laughs> you know, maybe this is the last season you want to just bank it. You want to start building courses. You want to start doing high tickets, working with people who got problems, tax resolution, $5,000 or more. Maybe you want to just build a course, sell it on autopilot, shoot it once and have it roll all year while you're focusing on what you do best, which is enjoying time with your family. Define what success means to you and strategize. Have a plan before you go to the market. Okay. Number two is credibility and solid presence. Now we're clear, now we know who we are, what we're after, we know how our company is gonna look like, we know everything. Now we gotta build credibility and trust. The people, they will only buy from you if they like you and trust you, okay? And especially as a tax preparer, guys. As a tax preparer, you take social security numbers, you know? Not everybody is comfortable with that. So your credibility and, and exposure and how you show up to the marketplace, it's either gonna be your biggest asset or liability. If you work on it and you're perceived as the authority in the market and as the expert in the market and, and, and you know, you're putting things out there such as webinars, courses, eBooks, or you're putting value out there, you don't really have to chase too much. You go to attract it. You stop chasing, you start attracting because you give people a taste of what they can get doing business with you and they can already have it. 
But again, I checked so many tax, we've been working with tax preparers for the past five years and you know, like I checked so many tax preparers and I talked to them and they have 20 years of experience. They're incredible at what they do. They can help a business, take a business, help them not only do taxes, save on their taxes for the rest of their life and they're really good, you know, and, and that's just natural. They can't stop doing it. It's like telling them to stop breathing. They gotta over deliver because that's who they are. However, they're not met with the tribe that really needs them. There's businesses out there that really would love to work with someone who is expert and who is good, you know, and who is genuine and who truly want to help, but they can't find them. Because the people who are implementing the strategies get in front of them, they're not taking their time too much on building their value, okay? But I want, want you to do, I want you to have both and, you know, in both words, like be valuable, have the best, uh, think about your clients, solve your problems, but at the same time, you gotta, people gotta have to trust you, you gotta have exposure, you gotta exist in the marketplace, you're not doing them justice by not being in front of them, because they end up doing business with people way less qualified than you, they didn't give them the right results they need, and I want you guys to start thinking about it like that, because your compensation is in direct proportion of how many lives you touch, how many people you serve, and how well you serve them, be the go-giver, and in order to showcase that, and you have to exist in the marketplace, okay? People go online for two reasons, either to be educated or entertained. No one likes to be sold, okay? We don't live on the Wall Street era. So your goal should be creating valuable content, eBooks, course, you know, go study. If you take literally a couple hours, do some research, go see who is the best in your industry, who is the best tax preparer in the industry, it's easy to find them because they're, 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 you know, you put a tax preparer, they show up because they're out there. They have exposure. Go and study. You can reverse engineer, see what they're doing, do better than them. And you're going to have all of them have something in common, which I'm gonna, about to share with you. Okay. And that's what makes them. It's not the other way around. That's what makes them successful because they disposition themselves as the experts. But success leaves clues, guys. This is not some information I'm bringing out of a source or whatever. This is already, you know, that within you. You know that you're not, you know, like, you know that you're not um, operating at your fullest potential. You know there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but you also, you can be burned out. You could be working with different marketers or like people who didn't get you the results and then you just give up. But you can't blame it on the Fiverr guy who didn't deliver two years ago and stop doing marketing. You can't. You got to take full responsibility. When you go work with different, I, I know a lot of tax payers being burnt and then they just stop. But then when I go check their accounts, I talk to these people, I have 20 years experience, I go check their accounts and I'm like, I wouldn't give you my social security. I wouldn't know how amazing you are and such a waste. I really, it gets personal for me. Now I want to help you because I feel like you're an incredible person. I feel like you have so much to give and I feel like you're not getting the, the proper treatment in the marketplace because you don't have a strategy how to get there and how to showcase that credibility. Credibility, guys. Credibility, people need to trust you in order to buy from you. And you can build credibility by, you know, doing, for example, a webinar or doing trainings or doing, you know, educational content that give people a taste of what you can do, what you can do for them. They see you. But don't go to the marketplace. People, when they go try to sell, 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 nobody likes to. People go online for two reasons, education and entertainment. They don't like to be sold. The thing that I don't like, you know, is when tax preparers do flyers that says file with me. Why? Why? Imagine me opening this video with, hey, my name is Anas and I'm the CEO of this company and we have a lot of people and we're growing. You don't really care about that, do you? You know what do you care about? What's in it for me? So I'm not going to come here and flex on you. I'm going to come here and give you what you need, solve your problems. And that's what your clients want. And I'm not saying building credibility is part of it. But I'm saying people say what's in it for me. So when they go to your profile, they want you to be educated them. They want you to give them a taste of what you can do for them. Okay? So that could be done ebook. Write them an ebook, right? If you don't want to be in front of get write them an ebook. Like if I come to you, your business, I'll be like, here's an ebook for an exchange of something. That's so much credibility. But also here's free ebook study. I'm the expert. The more I educate you, the more I'll, I'll, I'll gain your trust, but also the more I earn the right to ask you for business. So the more you educate your market, the more they invest time and energy into you, the more you're more likely to have an ease because it's a give and take experience. I'm not trying to take from you. Just trying to solve your problem, give you as much as I can, right? And then you get to the side that works for you back, right? It's a fair deal, but you have to work on your value. You don't get paid for the hour. 
you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. So you gotta become valuable and you gotta showcase that to the world. And that's how credibility co comes to place. Credibility could be done also through the flow of your social media. You know, how your profile looks. Like I'm gonna give you a couple examples here, like when we build credibility for our clients, you know, to give them a personal brand and, and put all their businesses and build credibility for them so they can flow leads to all these businesses. Right, I'm gonna show you one here. And then also their Instagram account. The Instagram account needs to build credibility. As soon as I get in, I need to see what do you do? You know, why you do it, you know? Uh, there's a lot of things that you gotta, you gotta have good content. People are gonna give you their social security number or people are gonna buy you a course, people are gonna do business with you. They wanna see what you, they wanna see the efforts. You wanna have graphics, you wanna have carousels. Educational carousels are excellent. Instagram love carousels. The reason why, because it's an engagement. Instagram, the algorithm just want you to stay, you know, in the algorithm. And the more people swipe, the more that's engagement for you. So your Instagram grows that way. But also you're educating your market. Put videos that educate them, you know. Cut a little bit of value. Have a conversation with somebody, you know, on a Zoom call and cut it and put some of that value out there. People want to see, okay. So number two is credibility and solid presence. You gotta have credibility. People gotta trust you to do business with you, okay? Number three is the system. Guys, we always say this, don't build a business. Build a system because when you, and I'm not, I'm not meaning that, yeah, of course, go build businesses, but always have systems without your business, within your business, because if you don't have that, you end up working in your business instead of on your business. When you have a system, you look at everything from the bird eye view and you go, you know, and look at your strategies working and all that. When you're just inside your bottle, you can't see the label. When you're just waiting for clients or chasing them, going DM and this thing's missing, it's taking so much of your time and you don't go focus on what you do best, which is Filing taxes, growing your team, hire more people, be in a service bureau, go, do, go to the next level, you know, open a franchise, whatever it is, it keeps you stuck because you keep stuck on, instead of growing and making money and have everything automated for you, so you can have more time in your hand to do tasks as a CEO or as a tax preparer that are more valuable. It's not about how much action you take. It's not about how many decisions, uh, the volume of the decisions you make a day. If you make five good decisions that are planned right and that are outcome driven and that are reverse engineered and starting from the outs like that's a lot more better than just taking action all day so the system protects you for that and what is a system system basically is a bunch of different things such as funnels lead magnets ebooks webinars training that captures people attention raise their interest build the desire and promote action guys Marketing is more psychology and sociology than technology. It's a lot more psychology. We deal with human beings. They buy with emotion, right? When is the last time you bought something out of logic? You buy it out of emotion, you justify with logic. So we deal with human beings. They have problems, they have fears, they have uh, gains, they have motivations. The more you understand the psychology of your clients, the more you'll know how to talk to them. But also, the more you'll know how to help them better the more you'll know how to find them, right? So the more you understand their psychology, the more you'll be able to gain more business. And it's about them, it's not about you, right? It's about them. The more you are focused on customer driven, the better. So the system does that. What the system does, it builds our credibility. It gives people a taste of what we can do. It grabs attention. Attention is the biggest uh, currency in the marketplace. You only have one, two, three to 10 seconds to you know, build attention. So you need a system. You need a system could be a funnel that builds awareness, acquisition, like we said, attention, right? So once I come in contact with your brand, I have unconscious questions that appear in my unconscious mind. You know, once I come in, I'm like, what do you do? Why you do it? Why should I buy from you? And why now, right? And more likely, you know, like you don't want to just ask people for business because you need to have something that warm them up, that give them something free, that, you know, like you got to give them some attention. You got to attract them while you're talking to them. You're not chasing them with nothing. You're giving them something in return of their attention and they're in the business of filing taxes anyways. The only question we do and you give them a reason to choose you, okay? So to start this, 
Third part, I want to show you a visual thing of a funnel and of a whole experience, a system, you know, in place, working life, okay? So a system, like the first thing I want to cover is approach, okay? So the approach is everything. How you approach the market is everything, okay? So, for example, let's say you're a tax preparer in this tax season, you want to generate leads, okay? And I'm going to share a funnel with you that helped our clients generate hundreds if not thousands of leads during the past two tax seasons, okay? And it was so genuine, and it was so straight to the point, and it was so customer focused, that people had no options but to say yes, because it's a good deal. You feel like, uh, like, am I crazy for not taking action on this? This person came, gave me a full ebook, uh, actually solved my problems, reached out to me, gave me this, and they're good at what they do, and that's what I need, and I'm gonna say no to them and go work with people who are not qualified enough in the marketplace. What do you think, right? So it, it does, it protects you, and it builds more credibility when we talk about when we have a system. If you go to these uh, 3% that we talked about at first, like all these best people in the market, they all have something in common. They'll probably have a course, they'll have a webinar, they have an ebook, they have a lead magnet, they have something that they give to the client for free as a test so they don't waste their time on endless phone calls right there. Go read it and come to me and it builds credibility so people can come, okay? So in this funnel, right, and this is how we generate leads. First, we give them a free ebook. Here's the nine secret how uh, uh, rich people, you know, uh, use to save $10,000 more on their taxes. You see, first of all, there's a lot of NLP in this title, like neuro-linguistic programming, like secret. Secret, everybody wants to know a secret, you know, like we're curious beings. So this word, it's powerful words that you use to build more credibility on your system. So just pay attention to that. Nine secrets. Tax write-up, rich people. Rich people is a powerful word as well. Everybody wants to be rich. To save $10,000 or more. 10,000 also. So we give an ebook that gets people. What's in this ebook is going to be, and I'll show you the ebook as well. It's going to be, you know, different things for them to save and all that. And people can save different things, but the title is so important talking about the approach. Title is so important. So once they come, they're like, okay, well, this person, you know, they sent me a nice approach. They told me, hey, my name is uh, this and that. I'm the CEO of this tax company. And I've been helping businesses just like yourself save on their pocket. Usually what you're struggling with is this and this and this. You want to make more money while you have money already on your on your finances, you know, to be work. If you know how to file taxes better, if you know how to do your write-offs better. So I put an ebook together. It's going to show you exactly how to do that and make more money. Put your email, I'll give it to you. So let me ask you this. Let's, let's pause here for a second, guys. If you have two options, someone who sent you a flyer that says, file with me now, and someone who's like, hey, hey, John, how's it going? Listen, I know your problem. Here's what you're struggling with. I studied so hard. I put a, I, I write a book about it, right? And I want to give it to you free. Just give me your email. I'll send it to you. I'll give you my email. You know, you don't want to be, that's the first step is engagement, engagement. Now, a lot of people are going to do business with you. We're going to hop into that in a little bit, but engagement, engaging people to come in, right? And giving them something free, genuinely. And the good thing about this is law of averages. Instead of going after 10 or like, you're giving it to everybody at once, thousands of people. So the law of average, the more people you send it to, the more likely you get a percentage that go and book. Okay. So going back to our thing. You come in, you go to the funnel, here's the funnel as you can see here, put your name, put your email, and get the free ebook, right? So once they put their ebook, we email them the ebook right away, and then we click on submit, we email them the ebook with a pitch. Hey, my name is this and this, and I'm gonna get into the pitch later on, you know, in this video. We send them a pitch, but not only that, we don't stop that, okay? What we do is we take them through a psychological journey. If they click and submit, they go to the next one. What we were talking about earlier. People ask you for what do you do? Why you do it? Why you should buy from you? And why now? You gotta build that trust. Remember we talked about credibility and trust. You gotta build that trust and you gotta shine a light on yourself, on your skills. You gotta shine a light, you're a strategist, right? And you help people anyways. You've been over delivering for years. I'm pretty sure you know you all love what you do. And if you don't, I recommend you take this tax season, implement what I tell you, and then do a course about it. But you guys have a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of things to give back. You're giving it anyways. You just never shine the light on it, and it's time to do so. 
to help your clients. You're a strategist, okay? You're a preparer too, but you're a strategist as well. Okay, so we get to here. And again, here is the psychological journey we talked about. Answering every unconscious mind and tell people what do you do, why you do it, why they should buy and why now? Because they have unconscious questions during these 30 seconds. They come to the funnel, they only have 10 to 30 seconds. So you gotta keep them focused first, and you gotta you take control over that experience. If you don't, they take control over it and chances are they leave. Okay? So the first question they'll ask, you know, what is this about? What am I gonna get? Boom. Right after, right? Then we get, okay, well, why should I do it? How can I trust these people? These are the questions that start raising within that 30 seconds, okay? So the next one, file with the tax pro, okay? File from the comfort of your home and then get maximum, uh, maximum refund. That's what people care mostly about. We're trying to keep it simple. The most powerful strategies out there are simple, but they're more psychologically driven because we deal with human beings. That's what the billion and trillion dollar companies understand about us and they actually know more about us than we know about ourselves than they use it I don't know if they use it for good, but we want to use this for good because you guys are talented. You guys are skilled and always be a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously. Act like you're the best, but also keep learning, keep growing your skills because that's, I can show you how to get the people, but if you don't know how to serve them and retain them, you know, I'll show you ways how to do that. But if you don't have it on your heart to do so, there's nothing we can do about it, right? So going back, credibility, right? The next part is about you want to shine a light on you. People relate to other people. So you, you put your story out there. And also business is all about solving problems. But how you solve working with tax preparation, I had to focus on a single while dealing with a lot of businesses who never know their accounting, they don't have in place, or they're, they're usually work, working so hard to make more money or they don't have enough money while they had money that they didn't know how to strategize the taxes better and I focus, I made that my main focus to help them you speak to straight to somebody's problem you speak to somebody's problem you speak to their heart because in business we all just solve problems you know the compensation is in direct proportion of how many problems you solve how many people you serve and how well you serve them right so if you want to reverse engineer you showcase that you future pace your clients, you know, for doing business with you. So that's important, right? Your story, link it to the problem you solve. Link it to your story, how we started, you know, and, and how inspiring it is. We all have an empowering story. We all, and we have a choice. Either it's a dispowering one or an empowering one. It could be your biggest asset or liability. So choose your story and communicate it well with clients. They would like to see that. Use that. Use that to connect with your clients and we're all in the business of solving problems so show them how you've been solving their problems and other people like them problems right so they're more likely because you remember there's a psychological journey they liking you a little bit more that like goes from here they don't know you oh i like this person oh they're answering every question i don't know why i like them well because i answer every unconscious questions that you could possibly have in your unconscious mind before it even arrives every objection was overcame before it even arrives See the magic in that? Cool. All right. So we got the about us. Right after the how to. And here's, I don't want to hype this up, but guys, you have 10 seconds. And this is important. It might look simple, but it's powerful because it goes straight to the point. I'm not supposed to give this information free. We, we're not, but we're giving it because I know in your hand, guys, you can do something good with it. Okay? Just keep it simple. The next one is, so as human beings, we always have that fear of uncertainty. We have fear of the unknown. We don't want to take action. We're doubtful. We're like, I don't know if they're going to try it. If you tell them, hey, come to the consultation, like, are they going to try to sell, sell me something? Or tell me my payroll is good. Or like do accounting or something else, even that has nothing to do with taxes. But once you clarify your message, clarity is so important. Once you tell them exactly how it's going to go down, you know, the, you, you ease, you put their mind at ease so they can move forward to the next, to the next step so they can book. Keeping them focused, building every trust, credibility in this and get them to book on your calendar, right? So we got to overcome that. How is it going to work? Okay, it's simple. Ask you some questions, gather some info and recommend the solution. Simple. You know what's recommend solution is your service when your father taxes. You know, but for them, it's like, okay, well, that's fair. Gather info, this and this, I will take... Give people a taste what you're going to do for them. Simplify it. Outcome driven, right? I'm going to do this and do this. What they're looking for. They want a solution, right? So that's it. You put their mind at ease. They're like, okay, well, that makes sense. I'll book a call. It's free. It's a strategist. They gave me a free ebook. They educated me. They're the expert now. I went through their story. They, they sent me a nice message on Instagram. Um, 
Uh, they have an amazing. They have an amazing story. They've been solving people's problems. Why not? You know why I shouldn't buy from them? And right by the testimonials, or on top, uh, right by the calendar, or on top of it, we have testimonials. Okay. So testimonials, guys, are so important. I want to give you a strategy how to utilize your testimonials because a lot of people they put just whatever they find. They have a lot of testimonials. They don't know how to handpick the right ones to put for that 10 second journey for the clients. So you gotta have different kind of clients and you'll know your, your kind of clients, but you will have always someone who cares about people more than anything else. You know, there's people who are, who are like, who care about someone who cares about them. Who, so all what you wanna do is customer service first. You know, someone who writes something about you and how genuine you are, how you want to above and beyond. People wanna do business with people who are over deliverer who are genuine, who truly want to help. So people always want someone who is genuine. So do something about customer service, something about price. A lot of people, they want a uh, uh, price, they want affordable. Oh, I thought this work will take me $4,000. This textbook person charged me less than this and this and this. The third one could be value. A lot of people are looking for value, a problem that you solved, right? And they put it there. Oh, I had no idea my taxes work on your business for my second year. And I was so scared that I, but then I met this and she helped me do this future pace. They'll see it and they're like, oh my God, I want to be like that person. That's why testimonials are here. Once they read the testimonials, they go and book with you. Give them absolutely every reason to book with you. Okay. Give them absolutely every reason to book with you. If they don't book, and this one I'll go over next, I can't put everything. It's going to take us hours, guys, to dive into that, right? I can't put it all in, but I'm going to tell you what's next. The next one, is marketing and then sales. Once we have our system, we built our credibility, now we gotta fill up our calendars. We gotta bring people to these funnels. We gotta send messages to give people this ebook to take them throughout this psychological journey to build trust, credibility, and then ask them for business and get them. Give them an offer to take action. Every business is in the marketing and sales business, okay? You have a product, you figure out your foundation, you figure out strategy, you figure out that, done, that's done. Foundation, you only build it one. Now, your entire job, that, that's remaining is to market it, approach the market the best way possible, and then to sell it. That's what's left for you, that's pretty much it. So to not leave any money on the table, what we do in the next one is marketing. Marketing, the most important, I'm gonna go briefly on it, but if you want more, I'm gonna tell you what I have to offer, and I'll tell you what we have in store for you that can help you dive deeper into this and really take your business to the next level. But I'll give you a little shortcut so you can have an idea. The next one is marketing. Approach. Approach is the most important thing. So you build an approach that is powerful, that gets people's attention, right, and send it to them. The marketing, we have a lot of different ways. We use direct outreach. We use appointment setters, you know, that cost us zero, that, that work on commission, and fill up our calendar because we're already given something. It's not a cold call for them. It's a warm call because you're already given an ebook or webinar. So it builds so much credibility, and then you ask them with an offer. Offer is next. If you don't have an offer in place that it's irresistible, you don't have anything. An offer that gets you separates you from everybody else. You know, marketing is easy and hard in 2023. It's easy because you have all these platforms. It's hard because everybody else got that. How can you stand out? You need a better offer than everybody else, right? A smarter offer that really meets the need of your customer, okay? Next, once we have that, we have the sales and closing. Guys, every business is the marketing and sales. And what we do in this training, and I want to give you a little bit more detail. We don't only do the appointment centers. We don't help you with the SOP sales, getting your teams ready, getting yourself ready, having absolutely every single resource to close all these deals that didn't book. Because a lot of people are going to book, a lot of them are not going to book. You don't want to leave any money on the table, okay? It's easy. We have a script that work for every client, work for us, work for biggest companies like Timeshare and sales, you know, and it's not selling. It's a value. When you make the call, the appointment said it doesn't tell them, hey, hey, I sent you something free. I just want to connect. I just want to, you know, uh, touch base. And also I have the best offer in place and being qualified for a free strategy session. There's no way a business owner or an individual will say no if they're filing taxes anyways. Remember when we talked about 300 million Americans, they need to file tax, the only question is with who? That's when you give them the answer to absolutely everything to make yourself the best choice. Guys, without further ado, I wanna invite you, I have two options for you. If you're a tax preparer, if you're a tax preparer, you don't need just pocketing, you don't need just readability, you don't need all this done for you. And what I covered was just